The Salem Witch Trials were a series of hearings and prosecutions that took place in colonial Massachusetts between February 1692 and May 1693. The trials resulted in the execution of 20 people, mostly women, accused of practicing witchcraft. The events occurred in the town of Salem and surrounding areas, which are now part of present-day Danvers, Massachusetts. The origins of the Salem Witch Trials can be traced back to various factors, including religious beliefs, social tensions, and political unrest. The Puritans, who were the predominant religious group in the area, held strict beliefs and feared the devil and witchcraft. In 1689, the colony's charter was revoked by the English crown, leading to a period of uncertainty and instability, which added to the atmosphere of fear and suspicion. The witch hysteria began when a group of young girls, including Betty Paris and Abigail Williams, started exhibiting strange behavior. They claimed to be tormented by witches, experiencing fits, convulsions, and other unexplained physical symptoms. A local doctor attributed their symptoms to witchcraft, and the girls began accusing people in the community of being witches. The first accused were Sarah Good, Sarah Osborne, and Tituba, a slave from the Caribbean who worked in the Paris household. Tituba confessed to being a witch under pressure and claimed that there were other witches in the community. This opened the floodgates for more accusations, and soon many people were accused of practicing witchcraft. The trials were conducted in a highly prejudiced and unfair manner. Spectral evidence, which was testimony claiming to have seen the accused person's spirit engaging in malevolent acts, was admitted as valid evidence. Many innocent people were accused, and some were subjected to harsh interrogation methods until they confessed. Those who confessed were often spared execution, while those who maintained their innocence were more likely to be hanged. The trials came to an end in 1693 when the governor of Massachusetts, Sir William Phipps, dissolved the special court established to hear the witchcraft cases. He took this action after his own wife was accused of witchcraft. Over time, the community realized the injustice of the trials, and efforts were made to compensate the families of the victims and clear the names of those who were accused. The Salem Witch Trials remain a dark chapter in American history serving as a cautionary tale of the dangers of mass hysteria, prejudice, and the misuse of power. The events have since been the subject of numerous books, plays, movies, and other artistic works, and they continue to be studied as a fascinating and troubling period in early American history.